Okay, let's start by taking the handle off. We'll uh, pop the button here. A little straight screwdriver. Pop that off. That's one way to do it. And then we'll take out the screw holding the handle. And it'll be around the splines, which we'll just take off carefully. So we'll take that off, put it to the side. Quickest thing to do here is to take the three quarter inch wrench and just take it right off. And there's lots of different ones, so you can basically take this, take this into the hardware store and show it to them. You can take a picture too, but this one has uh, the washers fairly in good condition, but we're replacing this. Well, we need to get one more piece out of the bottom. We're going to use our uh, Allen key here because we want to make sure that the seating is not hurting the washer. These will sometimes rust up. We'll take our needle nose pliers and pull that out. Some are longer. This one's a very short one. And we're going to replace that while we're at it. Because you want, you don't want this to be rusty right here because the washer has to fit right there and have a good seal. So we're replacing both today. And we've got this all set to go. So we'll just open up our package. I'm going to put the new one in there. So let's get the new one nice, bring the copper. And gently place it about right. Get our big wrench and put it in there. And just a little tightening, not too tight. And then we're going to get our new piece. And we're going to put that on. Careful not to forget the little washer that goes in there. So there's what the washer looks like when it's nice and new. Place that in there. No white tape or anything. No gunk. Just screw it in hand tight. Get the wrench. Tighten it up just a little bit there. Should work. We'll get our handle back on. And we'll screw that down and then get the water on slowly and give it a test to see if it works. That's about it. And now we're actually tightening it. It happened to be open when we bought it. There we go. So, happy plumbing.